Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Mekidat bin Ahmad Al-Hazila And my metric number is 101587 So today I will present a topic about Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol Or we call it as a DHCP As an introduction, uh, a network protocol is widely used To automate uh, the process of assigning IP addresses And configuration, uh, configuring network parameters for device on a network it simplifies uh, network administration by eliminating the need for manual IP address configuration on individual devices. DHCP enables efficient resource management and ensure seamless network connectivity for the device to join the network. DHCP consists of uh, several key components that work together to facilitate the automatic assignment of IP addresses and network configuration parameters. First of all, DHCP server is a network device or software application responsible for managing and distributing IP addresses and configuration information to DHCP clients. Next, DHCP client. A DHCP client is a any device such as computer, smartphone, network printer that require network configuration information to connect to a network. Thirdly, DHCP relay agent. In, uh, in that uh, process, uh, in a larger network with multiple um, multiple subnets, DHCP relay agents are used to forward DHCP messages between client and servers located in on different subnets. Other than that, DHCP database uh, is a storage mechanism located uh, on the DHCP server. It maintains uh, a record of IP addresses, leases, leases duration, and associated the client information. Lastly, DHCP protocol. Uh, DH, uh, the DHCP protocol itself defines the format and structure of DHCP messages exchanged between the DHCP client and server. The DHCP process involves a series of step through uh, which a DHCP client obtains an IP address network configuration information from a DHCP server. The typical DHCP process can be summarized as follows. First of all, we started with DHCP discovery, which when a device, i.e. a DHCP client, connects to a network, it initiates the DHCP process by broadcasting a DHCP discovery message. Next, upon receiving the DHCP discovery message, the DHCP service responds with a DHCP offer message. Then, uh, in DHCP request, the DHCP client selects one of the offered IP addresses and sends a DHCP request message to the DHCP server as it wishes to obtain the list from. Uh, after that, the DHCP server, upon receiving the DHCP request message, uh, it responds with a DHCP acknowledgement uh, message. So we proceed to the uh, IP address, address list renewal. Uh, during the list uh, duration, the DHCP client can continue using the uh, assigned IP address without uh, further interaction with the DHCP server. Lastly, uh, in IP address list, which when the DHCP client no longer needs the IP address, such as uh, when it's disconnect from the network or shutdowns, it can release the IP address list. DHCP also has its own benefits uh, such as simplified network administration, efficient IP address management, centralized network configuration, rapid network connectivity, scalability, and lastly, network flexibility. Last but not least, DHCP also faces some challenges that should be aware of such as IP address conflicts, DHCP security, DHCP performance, DHCP monitoring and troubleshooting, and lastly, redundancy and high availability. In conclusion, we can see that DHCP plays a critical role in modern networking, providing a, a dynamic and automatic, automated uh, approach to IP addresses assignment and network configuration. Its benefits in simplifying network administration, optimizing resources, utilization, and ensuring efficient connectivity make it an assertion essential a component of robust and scalable scalable networks that's all from me thank you